Good morning, good morning. From Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group with the Morning Market Stir for Thursday, July the 28th. Markets meandered once again yesterday, stuck within this range that we've been traveling it for the last almost two weeks. S&P did rebound off the lows after the Fed finished. Down two points, 2161 is where it closed. The range has been 2175 to 2150 for the last couple of weeks. Dow futures down 10, stuck in about 100 point range on the day. The NASDAQ led the way above 4700, so it's making a push possibly to those all time highs from December. Big boost yesterday from Apple, obviously. It was up 44, 4708 was a close. The dollar made new highs earlier this week, 97.60, I'm sorry, 97.60, and it's been on a decline since then. Close at 97, that's an important pivot to keep an eye on, so that was down a few points, given the euro currency a boost. The euro currency was up 32, 110.43, after making those new relative lows here recently. The bond market popped up one, as no rates, no rate hikes are here in the future, so that Fed talk is off the table, closing at 173, the driving yields lower in that 30 year. Looking at crude, new relative lows, new three month lows there at 41.70, closing at 41.90. That was down one full dollar, so a blast to the downside in crude oil. And gold was up six dollars at 13.35, getting as high as 13.50 during the session. Maybe uh, finding a bottom here as well with that 1300 support as that dollar continues to drift lower. So after the sideways action yesterday, where do things stand here on this Thursday morning? Well, we're drifting lower after a lot of earnings came out yesterday. More than 50 companies reported. Facebook was the big one, up 6%, so that's giving the markets, was giving it some support. Right now, we've got the S&P unchanged, the Dow futures down 10, and the Nasdaq down 4. We've got Google after the close here today, and that's pricing in about a 5% measured move. The big news is the dollar. The dollar, dollar's down 54, below that 97 that we've been keeping an eye on. 96.50 is where it's trading right now, giving the euro currency a boost back above 111, 111.19, but as high as 111.35 or so. It's up about 50 points right now. Crude oil up a dime at $42. 41.65 was the overnight low. So that took out yesterday's low. And if it can close positive, that could be the start of something with the dollar falling. And also gaining from that dollar drop is gold up $16 at $13.51, taking out yesterday's high. So that's a 1% push to the upside. So to wrap up this current action with half an hour to go before the cash stock market open, a lot of earnings hitting the tape. Right now, we're unchanged in the stocks, still trading sideways as we have been for the last couple weeks, waiting for a breakout or breakdown. Right now, the s and is down one, Dow Futures down 10, and the NASDAQ down four. Alan Nuckman here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.